We're constantly surrounded by sounds. Some of them are pleasant. And some of them are irritating. When it comes down to it, what exactly is sound? Well, sound is a tiny vibration of the air. For instance, if I squeeze this horn, <coughs> squeezing the bulb makes the air there vibrate, which makes the air in the horn vibrate, which makes the air outside vibrate, and that's what we hear as sound. That explanation sounds good, but since air is invisible, how do we prove what's happening? Well, as the air moves back and forth, it pushes the air pressure up and down, and we can check that on a pressure gauge. Would you like to see? Yes. We call this whole thing an electronic sound scope. It has a pressure gauge which is sensitive to tiny variations in pressure and shows them by making the little dot bounce up and down on the screen. Here, I'll show you. Professor Taylor put the pressure gauge into a plastic bottle and screwed on the cap. And sure enough, when I put the pressure on the bottle by squeezing it, the dot jumped up. And when I released the pressure by letting go, the dot bounced down. All right, we're ready to investigate a sound now. And Tim Hammer is here with his tuba to play for us. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Have a seat there. Now, let me get this straight. If a sound is a vibration of the air, when Tim plays a note on the tuba, this dot is going to be bouncing up and down. Exactly so. Tim, could you play us a nice low note? Sure enough, when Tim played the tuba, the dot on the sound scope bounced up and down, indicating that there was a vibration in the air. In fact, the air was vibrating so fast that the dot looked like a blur. And I'm guessing any sound that's made is going to show up on the machine. That's right. 